I'm Ram Tin, and I am an MLOps engineer at Bensai. Hi, uh, my name is Ahmed Dokri. I joined Bensai uh, in January of this month, so about three months ago. And I joined the machine learning department uh, under the engineering team. So, my name is uh, Ali Reza Darbahani, and uh, I'm an MLOps engineer in the ML operations team, uh, which is the machine learning operations. My favorite song is uh, The Green Grass by Tom Waits. I like cheesecake. My favorite snack is actually uh, popcorn that I dip into a spicy sauce. So, a spicy popcorn. Definitely you need Python and some sort of SQL based um, skills, therefore languages. Um, we use BigQuery with Invent site. Teamwork, communication, technical skills such as Python in the ML roles, uh, machine learning frameworks, MLOps frameworks uh, um, are a plus for a candidate. Uh, MLOps at Bensai sits at the intersection of DevOps, machine learning, and data engineering. So a basic understanding of distributed systems, cloud computing, DevOps practices, and also some fundamental knowledge of machine learning algorithms could help. We write in Python and our infrastructure is on Google Cloud Platform. So we use services like BigQuery, um, Dataflow, and Vertex AI in a day-to-day -day basis. Also, uh, general uh, software engineering skills are, are really important too because um, when I joined, I was surprised, like machine learning technology has been side compared to other companies and, you know, the industry itself is, is quite mature, despite being a young company, like we are seriously leveraging the technology. We got to use a transformer based solution, which is basically a state of the art solution out there for natural language processing uh, problems. Basically, we use this model as a classifier for us to actually say like, hey, um, if we take two bio entities, say a protein and a gene, what is the relationship between those two bio entities within a particular sentence? Uh, is it influences? Is it affects? Uh, is it like no relationship at all? We don't know. We train the model to do that. That we basically sentences and then tells you, hey, you know, if you take these two bio entities, they belong to this particular class, which is basically a particular relationship. One of our main goals at MLOps is to improve the machine learning engineer's productivity. So one of the grand projects that we've been involved with for the past year or so was building our unified machine learning operations platform on top of Google Cloud that encompasses all aspects of our machine learning lifecycle from training and inference to monitoring and observability. What made this problem interesting is, of course, uh, I was working on the latest and greatest technology, which is not particularly the case um, if you were working not in a startup environment, like in a more established company. So, um, you know, a lot of people take don't take that for granted. Even for a very complicated algorithm, like there is no magic and there is a way to explain it. Sometimes we just don't know how to explain it yet, but it doesn't mean like it's magic and we shouldn't trust it. The other one, especially here at Bensai, we actually uh, don't need to know a lot of biology. Of course, having the curious mindset um, to do the job is of course uh, helpful, but you don't necessarily need to be uh, an expert in biology. Transparent, for sure, um, flexible, and autonomous. First one is fast, um, and we do move fast, like a lot of the ideas actually go from concept to, to POCs very quickly and then into implementation. The first and very important one, which I, I, I see the leadership also emphasis on, is like uh, being open, open-minded and like diversified. And by diversified, I mean like all those three letters, the DEI. And finally, the last one is think big. We always have the big picture in mind because at the end of the day, Bensai is the pioneer in this particular field. Flexibility. Um, I, I also think that when you're working for a remote first organization, even if you're close to the office, I'm close to the office, but you don't 
you don't you don't feel that you're missing out if anything if you don't go to the office and it helps a lot because it lets you rationally decide when you're most productive i think like being in a remote first company if digital nomad is not a thing for you even settling i think it gives you an extra edge where you could be living like a bit far away from the office if not you know completely far away from the office uh, and then you know um stay flexible and where you are uh, in terms of location. You also get to work and meet a lot of wonderful people from different locations or with completely different backgrounds. So I think it helps diversity and also expands your horizon.